why is this the right time to plant a tree? It seems awful late in the season. Now, when the trees are dormant, is a good time to plant the trees. Uh, there's not a, a big demand on the leaves. Uh, matter of fact, most leaves have already done their job for the year, uh, and they've fallen off the trees. Uh, the roots are still active, so this is a good time of year to plant them while the ground is still warm and not frozen. So the plant can get acclimated to the site, the uh, roots can start to get established before the ground freezes. How late can we go? Uh, you can plant until the ground freezes. Okay, well first thing, you got to determine how deep your hole is going to be. And uh, you dig your hole, you want your hole to be twice as wide as the root ball. And then the same height, or maybe even just a little bit higher, you want the top of the root ball to not be below the surface. And uh, once you have your hole dug, then you put your tree in there. If it has a basket on it, you want to cut off at least the top two rows of wire and get that out of the way. And then fold the burlap down underneath or up against the sides of it there because you want the roots to get established into the parent soil. As you don't have as... to pull all that burlap out of there. No, no, not all of it. But it's good to at least get the top half of it off. Real common, people think if they plant it deeper than it was grown in the nursery, then it's better for the tree. Like I was saying, it's actually better if it's planted a little bit higher than too deep. But uh, for the most part, you want to keep the natural parent soil there and just backfill it with the dirt that you dig out of the hole. And you have to pay attention to where you have water lines and gas lines, underground utilities. Uh, you got to look up. If you have wires going into the house, you don't want to be planting a tree right underneath the wires. Yes, it's good to mulch, whether you're doing spring, summer, or fall. The mulch plays a, a couple roles there, mainly to keep the moisture in, also to regulate the soil temperature extremes, and uh, it keeps the weeds down, keeps the lawnmowers and the weed whackers away from the tree, because anytime you bruise this cambium, that wounds the tree. And <clears throat> one real common thing is people mound the mulch up on the trunk there, and that's a big no-no. You don't want the mulch up on the, tree, on the trunk. Um, just have it right down where you can see the root flare going into the ground. Just have a little bit for color there, but have the two to three inches out over the main root zone. Um, another thing on some of the smaller plants that come in pots, when you pull them out of the pot a lot of times, you'll see the roots are grown right up against the pot there. They're kind of root bound. If it's not too bad, you can just use your fingers and knead it and loosen them up so they'll come out. If it's packed really tight, then you actually get a knife or a pair of snips and cut the roots in at least three or four places around to loosen up the roots so they can get established. Any specific varieties that you like? Uh, again, it's, it's up to the homeowners. I always tell them you're the one who has to look at it every day. So, And with the internet nowadays, I'll give them a bunch of cultivars. Like in the red maple family, there's October Glory and Red Sunset, Autumn Flame. I just tell them go online and read the details, look at the pictures, and tell me what you like.